Never stop working. Take your documents anywhere with Documents To Go for your droid today in App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Verizon Droid Apps. Welcome to App Judgment, Revision 3's mobile phone application review show. My name is Ron Richards, and if you're like me, you work at a job where you use your computer a lot. Documents fly in and out of my inbox, some that I create, others that I need to review and edit. Wouldn't it be great if I could not have to lug around my laptop and be able to access, view, and edit all my office-based documents from my phone? Well, now you can with Documents To Go. Documents To Go is developed by the established folks at Dataviz, who specialize in productivity and compatibility apps. As you can see, the app is available for a ton of devices, but we're looking just at the Android version here, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. There's a free version with limited functionality, or you can unlock the full version for $14.99. Documents To Go really makes accessing your documents super easy. Once you open up the application, you're presented with four simple icons. Word To Go for your word processing needs, Sheet To Go, which handles spreadsheets, Slideshow To Go for presentations, and PDF To Go, which, as the name says, accesses PDFs. The power of Documents To Go is the app's native compatibility. Within the app, you can open all the document types that most offices use these days, mainly the Microsoft and Adobe suites. So Doc, XLS, PPT, and PDF files all open natively. It even handles the DocX, XLSX, and PPTX formats that the most recent version of Microsoft Office has. Let's start with Word To Go. Tapping the icon presents you with options. You can open an existing file by accessing the files on your SD card, or you can create a new document. The app also shows you your most recent documents. Once you've found your document, Documents To Go loads it in the viewer. You can easily scroll through the document with your finger to read it, but as you can see, there are no controls on the screen. Tapping the menu button brings up the various tools you'll need. File gives you all the file-related options, like saving your document, closing it, and starting a new document, or opening an existing one, and you can even send your current document via email, which is handy. The edit option allows you to toggle the keyboard so you can actually start typing in your document as well as you can turn select on, where you can highlight text and then tapping edit again lets you cut, copy, and paste. There's even an undo option to help you if you need to go back because you made a mistake. Back on the menu, tapping view lets you adjust the zoom level, as well as find text, access the table of contents, footnotes, and endnotes for your document. One of the main functions you'll probably need most is the format section, which allows you to format your text with bold, italics, underline, change the font and paragraph settings, as well as add bulleted or numbered lists. You can tap insert to add a page break or a link or a table, and the more option gives you access to the preferences, file properties, and even a word count on the document. Whew, that's a ton of functionality packed in such a small space, which is great because it gives you all the tools you need to access your documents and edit it when on the go. And the tools are organized similarly for other document types. For example, let's open a spreadsheet. The document loads cleanly and all the formatting is present. You can use your finger to browse around the document. If you need to edit some of the data, all you need to do is tap on the cell, then tap the data on the top row, and you're all set. When you're in the editor, you can tap the menu and access the tools to do equations like functions, operators, and make cell references. It works just like Excel. Formatting the cell is available as well. Just tap menu, then format, and you get some options. You can set the formatting for numbers, or you can stylize the contents of your cell. You can also set the format for the sheet and also sort the data within the spreadsheet. So that's a full word processor and spreadsheet all on your phone. Amazing, but it doesn't stop there. We'll take a look at the rest of the app after this word from Verizon Droid Apps. Droid does apps. Verizon Droid Apps have access to every tool the phone has, including the compass, GPS, accelerometer, video player, image capture, etc. The power of the Droid Apps allows them to run in the background for multitasking and give background notifications. Verizon's dominant network and 3G coverage create an unparalleled mobile data solution to keep you connected to the web and allow you to run heavy, data-rich features anywhere at any time. And with the ever-expanding Android market, you'll always be able to quickly download the apps you need to get the most out of your Droid. Check out droiddoes.com. You'd think that word processing and spreadsheets would be enough, but you can also access your PowerPoint presentations with Documents To Go, which is slightly different than the other documents in the app. You can open or start a new presentation from the same file browser screen. In this case, I'll open an existing presentation. You can see the entire slide, graphics and all, load onto the screen, and you can scroll through the slides by swiping left and right, which makes for a super smooth browsing experience. Tapping menu gives you the same options as the other apps, like with file, which is the same. Tapping edit brings up your options to edit the slide text, delete the slide, or change the sort order of the slides. This is the first major drawback for using your phone for editing documents with Documents To Go. Having no ability to edit the images or look and feel of presentations can be very limiting. But then again, your phone isn't really made for creating presentations. But if you're in a jam and need to edit text on a slide, then you're in luck. If you've got a PDF that you need to view, you can open it in the PDF To Go viewer. Here you can zoom in and read your PDF, but you'll find the menu to be limited here to just file, edit, and view. 
There's no formatting to be had due to the nature of PDF files being uneditable, unless you're using Adobe Acrobat, but that's back on your desktop. Under Edit, you can select text and copy it to your clipboard for use in another document, which can be handy. Being able to view and edit productivity documents is an amazing capability, which can make travel and working in the field a breeze. But that said, after editing documents and working with documents to go, it has to be noted that the phone isn't the most ideal place to work on these sort of documents. If you're like me and you have fat fingers, the on-screen keyboard will drive you nuts if you're trying to write a document from scratch. But for quick viewing, reading, and editing, this app is aces. You can open all the main file types from Microsoft and Adobe with the free version, and after you pay for the full version, you can edit them, and not with limited functionality either. It's just like using Word or Excel on your phone. Also, the PDF viewer works great for viewing PDFs, which always needs a viewer app. But there are some drawbacks to the application. Like you need to pay $15 to be able to edit it once you have the pro version. You'll find quickly, as I did, that the phone isn't the ideal device for word processing. There's a ton of functionality packed into a small space, so finding the tool you need may be tricky. And the presentation editor is limited to text and sorting slides with no image or style support, unfortunately. Even with those limitations, I say download this app. Being able to edit documents quickly and easily on your phone is a must have for anyone who travels or needs to work out in the field or outside of your office. Documents to Go can quickly become one of those apps you can't live without. Is there another productivity app that you're using? Email me at appjudgment at revision3.com and send me your tips. Check us out online at Facebook, Twitter, or on YouTube. And as always, you can go to revision3.com slash appjudgment to subscribe to our show. I'm Ron Richards, this is App Judgment, and I'm going to start writing my novel.